Hey, it's Stu. Welcome to my next Land of the Giants video on the guest stars. And in front of you, Kevin Hagen has Kobeck. Kevin Hagen is similar to uh, Gerard in the Fugitive TV series. Uh, yeah, Kobeck, Inspector Kobeck, who drove around in this beautiful uh, car, black car, SID. In a soon-to-come episode, Kevin Hagen as Kobeck would have one of the most memorable lines in the whole series. A frustrated Kobeck uh, almost captures the little people and he comes out with this wonderful line. In a, next to a week, we'll be rid of them once and for all. Kevin Hagen was a frequent member of the Irwin Allen family, making guest appearances in all Irwin Allen TV shows. Often he appeared more than once in each series. Yeah, I honestly think that uh, after Valerie, Kevin Hagen is probably my favourite character in the series. I love, uh, I love Kevin Hagen as Kobeck. He's absolutely brilliant. The first Kobeck episode was called Deadly Lodestone. Then we jumped to Night of Thrombolden Bar with the strangest bit of casting you could imagine. In front of you is Alfred Ryder, who had previously appeared in two of the most famous episodes of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, The Phantom and The Phantom Strikes. Um, the, sorry, The Phantom and The Return of the Phantom. Yeah, so it's unbelievable that Erwin Allen would give such a highly respected name in his shows such a mediocre role in, in his next appearance in, in, uh, in Land of the Giants. I'm not quite sure why Erwin would cast him in this sort of a uh, wimpy sort of role, but he could have done a lot better, but whatever. There's Alfred Ryder in uh, Land of the Giants. Then we have the gorgeous D. Hartford in the episode titled Target Earth. D. Hartford had previously appeared in Lost in Space. She was uh, the android machine woman, Verda, you know, with silver skin. That's why you probably can't recognise her, because it's not always that we see her in uh, normal, uh, non-colourful makeup. Uh, she also appeared in an episode of The Outer Limits in the 1960s. She did the works. A uh, wonderful actress, highly underrated, D. Hartford. And in the episode titled Rescue, Lee Merriweather makes a guest appearance. There she is in the middle. Uh, do I really need to go down her credits? Batman the movie, Star Trek original series, Time Tunnel. She did the works. Lee Merriweather, I'm sorry to say that this episode, Rescue, is not one of her better appearances. In fact, it's one of her more mundane appearances. Surely they could have found better dialogue than what we get in Rescue. Jack Albertson made a guest appearance in my least favourite season one episode. On a wet and windy night, the little people go find refuge in a old house and guess what they find? A ghost. And there he is, Jack Albertson, playing a magician. Why is this episode my least favourite of the season? Uh, the first season of Land of the Giants, it was sort of... Uh, a show about uh, a manhunt show, sort of like the fugitive, a science fiction version of the fugitive, and this sort of way out of people vanishing and disappearing and ghosts and all the rest of it, it just did not fit into season one. It would have been more welcome in season two. And the season concludes with Shell Game, an episode where the Giants grab Spaceship Spindrifts. I really do wish Spaceship Spindrift was even more well used in the series because I absolutely love looking at this uh, red craft in front of you. More of Land of the Giants to come in my next later videos. Next is Season 2, Stu from Australia, signing out.